quick dev tip. Did you know you can copy paste UMG animations around to help save time? In my example here, I've got an animation on this text block. I've made a new widget and I want the same animation on here. So we could go in, make a new animation track and then do the animation, but a much quicker way is to copy paste that animation from the original guy across. So if we come into the animation and we right click, copy, come into our other widget, we make a new animation track and we paste in here. So you'll see it's red and that's because it's looking for the original asset which we don't have anymore. However, you can get around this by clicking on the element that you want, right clicking and then go and replace with and it'll have the name of the asset you've got here. So as you can see, we've quickly got the animation in this widget. Now the cool thing about this is because we use some settings that are across most UMG elements, so in this case I used render opacity and the render transform, we can actually move this animation onto other element types as well. So we did this on a text, but we can quite easily click on this border here and replace in the same way. So now we have that animation on our border with a text in. So this works exactly the same way in Unreal 5 as well. So if we go to our animation, we've made a new animation track, we come in. The cool thing is we can actually copy paste from the Unreal 4 because it's just, uh, it's just data, paste it in. So the same problem, it's red because we don't have this asset in the scene. We come in, select our text, and then right click exactly the same way, replace with text. You can see very quickly, we've got this animation on our UI element. I do a lot of UI in Unreal, and this is something that I use a lot. It's very helpful. This is a very simple example where we don't have much going on, but you can imagine how much time it could save you if you have multiple layers doing different things, color changes, all these kind of things happening.